everybody. Hi, my name is Jessica and I work at the Child Development Council. And today I'm going to read a story for you for the week of the young child. It was very, very hard to choose a book. There's so many good books out there, but the book I chose is Tree by Britta Tekinter. And the reason why I love this book is because, look closely, look at this, peekaboo, peekaboo. It's a peekaboo book. That means that as you turn the pages, you know, the pictures change, but something always stays the same. And that is the wise owl. Another reason why I love this book is that it talks about the changing seasons. And right now, we are going through a change in season, right? Right now it's spring and things are new and fresh and changing. I wonder if you look out your window, what do you see? Do you see a new flower? Do you see some new birds? Can you hear them? Do you smell new smells? Sometimes there are some um, wisteria that smells so good. They'll be popping up later this spring maybe in the summer too. Um, so let's start to read this book, Tree by Britta Tekinter. Look at these end pages, so glorious. In the forest, all is still, gripped by winter's icy chill. Owl sits watching in his tree no one sees as much as he. Look at this winter. It looks like an Ithaca winter. It's so snowy. Snow is melting all around. Shoots are peeping through the ground. Here they are. You see these little, these little, little balls? In the trees, young bear cubs play. Spring cannot be far away. Look, one, two bear cubs along with owl. Blossoms fall and leaves are growing. A gentle springtime breeze is blowing. Can you blow like the breeze? Squirrels scamper here and there. Playful fox cups. Fox cubs sniff the air. Look at those fox cubs. You have bear cubs, you have squirrels. It is springtime here. Birds flit through the leafy bowers. The forest is a bloom with flowers. Birds are singing, foxes play. Summertime is on its way. That's what comes next after our spring comes summer. Oh, here it is. Now summer's here, the sun is high. Bees are buzzing. There's one right there in the sky. Juicy apples, ripe and sweet, almost ready for you to eat. Can you find the apples? On a warm midsummer's night, all the stars are shining bright. The trees sway gently to and fro, shimmering in the moonlit glow. Look at that. When, when my little Julia was very little, we used to go out at night and we would watch, you would call it sky TV. We would just watch the sky and watch the stars and lay out at night outside. Now it's cooler all around. Apples tumble to the ground. After summer it gets cooler, right? It's in the fall. Grass is damp with morning dew. Clouds drift across the skies of blue. Autumn leaves turn red and gold. Days are warm and nights grow cold. Food is gathered and stored away, ready for a winter's day. It's winter again, look. The, 
cold north wind begins to blow. Animals shiver. It starts to snow. Time to shelter. Find a bed. Prepare for winter months ahead. You see, the cubs went to sleep. They went to hibernate. Everybody's kind of warm and snug in their habitat. And if I remember right, we began in the winter. Remember, we began this book in the winter and we're back to the winter because the seasons change. The forest floor is snowy white. In his tree, owl sits tight. Deep midwinter's here once more. Wise owl has seen it all before. It's silent now. No sounds are heard. Not a fox cub, not a bird. The trees are still. The snow lies deep. All the forest has gone to sleep. Oh, look who's missing. This is the first page without owl. Where did owl go? Oh, peeking, I see you. The seasons have all come and gone. Snow has fallen, sun has shone. Owl sees the first new buds appear. And so begins another year. Looks like they're having springtime, just like us, just like us. If you look out your window, you could probably see a couple of flowers too. I don't know if you'd see a fox cub or a bear. Maybe one day I could see an owl, who knows? All right, so next I wanted to share one more thing with you and that's a song. And this is a song that my daughter taught me. Um, Quinny, could you help? We're gonna sing the garden song. And it's by Pete Seeger, but John Denver sings it as well. So if, if you wanna hear different versions of it, it's called the garden song. Cause we're gonna, you know, sing a song about gardening cause spring is here. You ready? Yeah. All right. Inch by inch, row by row. Come, someone bless, bless these seeds I sow. Someone warm them from below till the rain comes tumbling down. Inch by inch, row by row. Gonna make this garden grow. All you need is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. And we want to show you one more thing. So last week, maybe it was two weeks ago, we got some seeds and we planted it. So it was too cold to plant it outside. And so what did we do, Quinn? We got some eggshells, mm -hmm. put some oil in it. And now, dot, and then it's starting to grow. Yeah. Like a uh -huh. little tree. That's right. So these are, remember what these are, what we planted? Rutabagas. These are rutabagas. So what we did was we just put a little bit of dirt in all the eggshells. We eat a lot of eggs at home. Maybe yeah. you do too. And then we put the seeds in. And what do they need to grow? Oil. And water. Water. They need water. They need water. So every day we put a little water in it just so they can grow. We put them out by the window so that they can get sun too. So that's something fun you could do at home if you have some seeds. Um, and if you would like some seeds, the Cooperative Extension has some seeds as well. So that's a nice place to go to. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you for listening to our story and happy week of the young child. Bye. Bye.